Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig, and today I have some awesome behind the scenes footage of a cowboy boot meeting between Los Altos Boots and Yeehaw Cowboy. This was incredible. Let's get into it. In April, Jose Diaz from YeehawCowboy.com reached out to me and asked me if I would go with him and record him while he went about his business of starting a new cowboy boot brand in Leon, Mexico. He, he had a meeting with Los Altos Boots down there and I, I have to say my mind is still reeling from the experience. I learned so much. It was an incredible experience to be down in Leon, Mexico and just witness how cowboy boots are made. It was awesome, but what blew my mind even more was the business that happened outside of the factory. So I was in the factory filming the workers, but then I also was filming a meeting. Now, I just wanna be upfront with everybody here. YeehawCowboy.com and Jose Diaz paid me to go down and record him and make content for his social media pages and his website and stuff. So that was a freelance marketing job for me. But this video is not being paid by anyone. Like I'm not getting paid for this. I just wanted to share my experience and my thought process behind the camera while I was down there recording this. So first up, I wanna play a little clip of Jose explaining that Los Altos Boots is making his boots, his brand, and also what they're gonna look like. So here is that footage now. So maquilas, you see where it says maquilas up there? That means boots that were made by somebody else. So I'm getting maquilas made from Los Altos. They're, they're manufacturing. So that's how, it's got, how it kind of the first design's gonna look. And I like being in the factory, but seeing this meeting between the co-owner of Los Altos, Rudy, and Jose, the owner of YeehawCowboy.com, it just felt like I was witnessing history. So here is the meeting where they were talking about what the boot was gonna look, to, look like based off of examples that Jose sent to Rudy. So I'm gonna play that and we're gonna go through this here. We just have to try to cut it or make it. Sometimes if it's so very thin, we can try to fold it a little bit and we can stitch it together with a welt. Okay. So I'm gonna to try, to me that's a better finish. I'm gonna to try to do to tell that to a guy. Mm -hmm. You know what, try to see if you can bend it or fold it a little bit to the side mm -hmm. so it can be stitched together with a good yard welt. Yeah. And that way it'll be a very fine job that. Yeah. So we just, have to, we just need to confirm that, you know. So, but I'll try to do that. That way we can see it to fold it and we don't have to cut it. And we see the tail is not so big, so we try to use medium sized tail. Mm -hmm. That way it can be molded in the in the point mm -hmm. where it can be workable in the front. Especially yeah, with sure. neat toe. Yeah. So that's I just cool. wanna confirm. So we're we're on the same uh, page on that. Yeah, right? for sure, so sure. Okay. So he's getting Cayman tail boots made. This is so exciting. I'm I'm pumped to see what these actually look like. And the fact that they're talking about what it takes for them to make a snip toe out of a Cayman tail is very interesting. Apparently there's not very much material to work with when it comes to making snip toes out of Cayman tail. For sure. This too, that's what I was telling you. You can see the stitching on this one, because they cut it. Even on this one, to be very honest to you, I, I looked at it very close, mm -hmm. and I think what they did on this one See, oh. I think they did a cheaty way. Yeah. They cut it and they kind of like. I see? saw that. So uh. see, a lot of people when they're not re when they're not familiar with uh, uh, with factories, mm -hmm. they don't they don't really check these details. See, they cut it very ugly right here. Yeah, so yeah. It looks like that, but they just patch it. It's like a patch. Uh -huh. So you know that I, I would not really recommend. It. That's like a really cheap work. Yeah. So I don't really I don't want it. I just I saw it. That's why you have to take take a look at the things very closely as a factory because you know people from far away or where they're not very familiar with production they just think oh i saw it and i was i like to see the detail now i don't remember who made this boot but rudy is saying that it's made 
cheaply and they cheated on making a snip toe. It's not a true snip toe because they had to like put a little patch on the toe rather than actually wrapping the caiman tail around the toe box. We, we're very detailed in factories. Yeah, for sure. So that's that. So now, and see, I think this is, you have a view at the front of this one. Yeah, what you can see, it's the same one, no? It's the same one that you're gonna be able to see it right here. Oh, right yeah. It's even sideways, that's what I looked at it, see? That's fucking crazy. See? Yeah. See what yeah, they did? Look yeah. It. And I'm very sure if you see that one in life, it will be ugly. It will look very ugly, especially for the people who has good eyes. Mm -hmm. They will say, what happened right here? This one just was added right there, like a little tip. So, and you know why? Because it's difficult to build, to, you know, to make this happen mm -hmm. with the tail how it tells. Mm -hmm. So that's why, you know, when Rodrigo asked me, I said, I really have to see it with him because you know I don't think he's familiar with that sneak toe mm -hmm. that you you know that go the way it goes down and then the tail I have to that's why I never thought about making it on a sneak toe because it's not very workable and especially you cannot really when I want to try to put time on your boots but I'm gonna have to whenever they're gonna weld the stitch it right here I'm gonna have to put one of my supervisor one by one with a guy who's the teacher to say you know what make sure one by one you're right there with him doing it the right way and if he goes the wrong way take it off. And do it again, but you really, this mm -hmm. is a very, that's why nobody, not too many people wants to make it on this yeah. sneak toe. Because it's a very special job. Yeah. You have to choose and cut the right tails. And then on that weld at the beginning, you really have to, really have to work on that like a specialty job. Yeah. So otherwise it's, it, it will be ugly or you have to cut it and look. Imagine cutting it. I have done it in the past. That looks ugly now that I look at it. It's awful, you know, yeah. it looks awful. <laughs> yeah, you know, it sometimes it's not just about making it, it's making it nice, which mm -hmm. is different. Mm -hmm. So you have to be very delicate. Yeah, for sure. So. so what Rudy just said, sometimes it's not just about making it, it's about making it nice. And I thought that was incredible. Like. I really respect that a lot because they're giving the attention to detail, they care, and on top of that, touring the factory and seeing the boots while they were being made, Los Altos has three, at least three quality assurance tables. So at different steps of the way, they're looking at the boots, making sure that it passes the test, and then it goes on and through the next process and then they look at it again and then it goes through the next process and then they look at it again before they put it in the box. So if they're taking all of this attention to detail, I am really looking forward to seeing what Jose's boots are going to be like from yeehawcowboy.com because I am pumped. And yesterday, this week, Jose put a story up on his Instagram and he shared the first test boot now i want to show you guys this because it's amazing now this is going to be a direct to consumer so it's similar to the way that tacovas is doing it the similar to the way that ranch road boots is doing it so yeehawcowboy.com is starting their own brand and this is the first boot that will be direct to consumer i want to show you guys so Jose put this on the Yeehaw Cowboy Boot Instagram yesterday. Look at, <laughs> look at this boot. Black Cherry Cayman Tail Snip Toe with cording in the shaft. You got some more Cayman up in the middle of the shaft and on the pull tabs. This is a beautiful boot. I am so pumped to see what these are actually like in person. This is the sample though. Oh my gosh. Like, can you believe this? And, and to have them talk about that and sort of hear that process and then see this boot and know exactly what they did with it is really cool to me. Like to be there and now see this, it really felt like I was a part of history. The first meeting about how the cowboy boot is gonna be designed between Los Altos boots and Yeehaw Cowboy boots. This is awesome. Now, there is a lot more content to this meeting. They also talked about the box and the design of the box. And I'll put a link to that up here and at the end of the video as well, because that was super interesting too. But just talking about the cowboy boot and having two major brands discuss what this boot is gonna look like and then see it here. I am super pumped to now try this. 
It's really interesting to me, the discrepancies and the details that go into it. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because it's just really new to me and I thought it might be interesting. So that's what I got. I am releasing a whole bunch of other stuff as well, making a whole bunch of more videos for yeehawcowboy.com. Uh, and if you wanna keep up with those, you can follow them on his channel. I will also be sharing more of my experiences from Leon as well in the future, but this one I finished last week and I really wanted to talk about it today. So that is my experience and that is the behind the scenes footage of this boot and I'm so pumped to see what it's gonna look like. All right, everybody, thanks for watching today and I will catch you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and let me know what you think of this meeting and what the first Yeehaw Cowboy boot is gonna look like down in the comments below. I will catch you next time. Peace. To see the boots behind the scenes makes me see what it really means to have a pair that I can wear and share how I please. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time. Peace.